So welcome again to the medium questions now. I hope you watched the previous video. This says the uh, population growth of spiders is increasing linearly with the number of weeks. If initially the amount of spiders is 900 after two weeks, so 2, 900. The count becomes 1080 after four weeks, so 4, 1080. The spider population is uh, okay, and the count becomes 1080 and after four. Uh, okay, so if I read this strong, if initially, so 0, 900. 2 comma 1080 and 4 comma 1260. Then what is the equation representing the data above? So I could either figure out what the gradient is. The gradient looks like it might be 90 and I could figure out the equation or I could do a bit of trial and error on these questions and say that let's say if I assume that the first answer option was correct, um, 90 times 2 minus 900 should give me 1080. That doesn't happen. So I'm just going to say that both A and d are the same actually so both are incorrect answers let's check if 900 times 2 plus 90 gives me 1080 no it doesn't give me 1080 it gives me 1890 so that is also not the correct answer this should then be the correct answer how would i figure that out directly i can calculate the gradient i can say that it's 1260 minus 1080 180. 180 over 2 is 90, so my gradient has to be 90. And my y intercept can be directly this 900, so I'm going to say 90w plus 900. Okay, this says the cost of electricity to run a personal computer is $15 if the time taken is 5 hours. And if the time taken to run the computer is 8 hours, it costs $24. If the information uh, provided following a linear relationship, find an equation determining the cost of electricity to the time. So I can again come up with a gradient. I can say that 24 minus 15 over 8 minus 5, that's 9 over 3, that's 3. So my gradient should be 3. Okay, and if it's a re linear relationship, it should be uh, this. C is not a linear relationship and in B the gradient is 1 over 3. So I'm going to say that is the case. So that's the correct answer. In case you have questions about whichever answer you get wrong, you can certainly ask me in the comments. The cost of an antique price is $12,000 and this price is steadily increasing at a rate of $100 per year. Find the linear function that models the price at the function for at the function t in years okay so it's 12000 initially and it's growing at 100 times t per year so the gradient is 100 that should be my answer if a linear relationship that describes the uh, if f is a linear relation model that describes the linear relationship between x and y as f of x equals to y with f of 1.1 equals to 15 so 1.1 comma 15 is my coordinate and 3.1 comma 45 is another coordinate then find the equation so i can again find out the gradient first 45 minus 15 3.1 minus 1.1 again you could do this question with trial and error if you have a calculator handy in front of you that would be the wiser thing to do divide by 2 that gives me 15. so i know that my gradient is 15. Hmm. let's find out what the y-intercept is i can pick up any set of coordinates and plug them in. So minus 1.5. So y equals to 15x minus 1.5. That should be the correct answer. C is at 1 point minus 1.5. A manufacturer produces a furniture with a fixed cost of $3,700 for all kinds of chairs and a variable cost of $250 for each unit of cushions for the chairs. What is the total cost of varying units of cushions? Also, what if the 15 units of cushion are manufactured? Okay. <laughs> so 3700 
cushions. Let's write that as S or X. Um, it doesn't say what variable I have to use, but I see in the answer options is an X. Okay, so 3700 plus 250 S. Um, those are answers. A and B. I still have to figure out what the cost of 15 questions would be. Seven four five zero. Okay, so it's B should be the correct answer. Let's see if there are more medium level questions. Yes, there are more medium level questions. Let's see these. The cost of renting a bicycle is modeled by the linear relationship 5t plus 20, where C represents the cost in dollars and T represents the time in hours. The cost includes a flat fee of dollar twenty plus five dollars per hour. What was the total cost if a person rented a bicycle for six hours? Okay. So 5t plus 20. For six hours, so five times six plus twenty. That's fifty. So a city's population has been increasing linearly in 2008. The population was recorded as 8,500 by 2012. Okay, so at time zero, it was 8,500. Um, after four years. It has grown to 11,200. Assuming this pattern continues, answer the, pop, answer the following. What is the projected population for the year 2016? So it's another four years, but I can simply say is that um, I can find out the change that's here and add it back again and say that I expect that in the next four years, it's also going to grow by 2,700. So I'm going to 11, add that to 11,200 and say that the correct answer should be 13,900. Is that the correct? Yes, that is the correct answer. The city's population is steadily increasing in a linear fashion. In 1999, the population was 30,000 uh, and grew by 1,200 people yearly. Create an equation representing the connection between the population and the years following 1999. So it's 1200 per year so let's call that y let's not call that y let's call that t because y is confusing what is the estimated population in 2005 so after six years so 30,000 plus 1200 times six that's 37,200 Okay, the linear function that models the linear relationship between the books sold and uh, is given by the linear equation. This, how many books are sold till the second year and determine the y-intercept of the linear equation. Okay. In the second year, so I'm going to say that one year has passed. Teen months, sorry, in the second year. So 12 into 12. 12 into 12 till the second year. So I think this should be 24. Till the second year means that two years have passed. So that gives me 538. And determine the y intercept of the linear equation. I think that's clear. That's 250. So 538 and 250. Then Alex currently owns 30 shops in his area. Every month he adds two new shops under his ownership. Write the formula for the number of shops as a function of time and months. So 2 times t, 30 plus 2 times 4, 38. Okay, so we've leveled up. Uh, that is it for the medium questions. I'm going to be back with some more hard questions.